Nobody's gonna get the drop on you, rookie. I never want to be in such a hurry that I don't have time to clear the corners. Is that you or the Academy talking? With all due respect, sir, I think that we should get the equipment set up first. Well, I never want to be in such a hurry that I can't make a good pot of coffee. How do you like yours? I think we're gonna have plenty of time for that. Then what's your hurry to set up? I just want to catch these guys so I can prove to the captain that I earned my promotion. First rule, good police work, make a good cup of coffee. Look, I know you don't like me. I know you especially don't like being stuck here all night with me. But I want to catch these guys. And I want to do it like partners. <laughs> Lighten up, Chief. I've only got six weeks to go, and then I got a Cuban in one hand and a highball in the other. I'm just here to get paid. You know, it's just about the good guys versus the bad guys, isn't it? I'll make yours extra strong. All right. I'll admit it, the coffee was a good idea. You know, one of these cups and I'm going to be up all night. You know, it's like a pot of water. It's not going to boil any faster just by staring at it. Well, we're not going to know if nothing happens unless we watch. You know why the captain put us on this assignment together, don't you? You being a rookie, me coming up on retirement. He's throwing me a softball and giving you your first field experience. He doesn't expect anything to happen. This is a known mob drop-off point. We, we have intelligence that shows that the goods are getting there, but we have nothing to show for how they're getting to the dock. While the shipment leaves in the morning, something's bound to happen tonight. Yeah, I read the same report. Is this all just a big joke to you? So why'd you join the force? Okay. You want to talk? Let's talk. What do you want to know? Why'd you join the force? I wanted to do good. Wanted to make a difference in the city. No, really. Why'd you join the force? There's, there's always a story. What's your story? All right. I was 15 years old. I was hanging with the wrong kids. I was trying to show my mother that I knew what was best for me. It was a Saturday in July, and we were pocketing a few apples from the corner store. And uh, on this particular day, we got caught. Mr. Grumbly saw us. And just as he went to stop us, Henry, my, my good buddy, he's, you know, uh, maybe a year or two older than me, has about 20 or 30 pounds on me. He, he turned and he just shoved Mr. Grumbly over, knocked him right into the, his own shelves. And then Henry took off, ran right by me, went right out the front door. And I watched this whole thing happen and then, and it froze me. I mean, I couldn't move from my spot. But when I did finally unglue my feet fr from the floor, I stepped outside and I saw that Henry, as he was crossing the street, was nabbed by the beat cop that just happened to be passing by. And the cop was just wailing on it. And somehow I, I knew he deserved it, but I knew I was next. So I turned the corner and sure enough, there was another cop there waiting for me. And he grabbed me by the scruff of my neck. He pulled me close to his face and I could still see his the bristles of his mustache moving when he talked. And he said to me in a stern yet calm voice to go home. Think about my choices. So I did. I went home, I thought about everything that had happened, and 
And I knew from that moment that I wanted to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. So, um, so your buddy, Henry, is he a good guy or a bad guy? Oh, he's a bad guy. I mean, I didn't see it at the time, but I can look back now and see that he was on a path that he wasn't going to get off of. Hmm. So what about you? What got you into police work? Me? <laughs> My old man was a cop. You hungry? I don't think it's been 40 minutes yet. No. Not only is this place known for the best chicken Szechuan in the city, they're also known for being early. You know what? I got this one. But oh, no, Slick. I got it. Don't worry about it. No, I insist. No, seriously. I've got this. There he is, right on time. Hey, come on in. How much do I owe you? The uh, $6.27. All right. That's for you. And for you. All right, thanks. Oh, yeah. Well, it smells good. Oh, man, it is the best. Cheers. You know, maybe I'll learn something from you yet. <laughs> no doubt. Oh, no, where are you going? No, pull up a chair. Come on, they ain't going anywhere. Let's enjoy our meal. So, what about the cop? Excuse me? You know, cop in your story. What about him? Is he a good guy or a bad guy? He's a good guy. Oh. But the wailing. The wailing on the kid, pounding him. Yeah, he was using the force that he saw necessary to stop the wrongdoer. Did it work? Well, not on Henry. I mean, he's seven years into a 20 year sentence right now. But me, worked on me. Just hmm. watching it scared me straight. Hmm. So you're one of the good guys. I like to think so. Well, it's not all black and white, you know. I know it all looks good on paper and all, but good guys can be bad and bad guys can be good. No. I like to think that life's much more simpler than that. Well, I'm just telling you, it's not all black and white, kid. <laughs> Hey, Cohen, take a look at this. Isn't that the delivery guy that was just here? Yeah, sure looks like it. Go ahead and uh, fire off a photo of that. You want a picture of two guys getting Chinese? Well, well, yeah, our instructions were to document any suspicious behavior. Okay, waste the film. Just take a photo. Hang on. Are you getting it? I'm trying to get it, You okay? gotta wind it first. Oh, for crying out loud. Would you hurry up and take the photo? Not my camera. I'm just... working on it. He's gonna get away. Did you did you get it? Yeah, I think I got it. Did you get it before he went behind the I van? I think I got one. What's the matter with you? It's like the first time you've ever done this before. It's not my camera. I'm not used to it, alright? Why don't you go over there and lay down for a little bit? Uh, I'll be alright. I can make it through. Phillips, you're driving me crazy. Go over there and lay down for 10 minutes. Phillips. Phillips. Where are you going? Well, I'm just going down the hall to use a can. Go back to sleep.
Where have you been? It's going down right now. I had to use the can down the hall. That Szechuan chicken cuts right through you. The activity's happening right now, but that big truck is in the way now. Let me see those. What truck? The truck that's right out there. What are you talking about? I don't understand. It was just there a minute ago. It must have moved. Phillips, there was never a truck out there. What are you talking about? The big white truck? I wrote down the plate. No, no, no. I wrote it down. I swear I did. All right, relax, relax. You're just a little groggy. Just like when you get up, you don't know if you're dreaming or if you're still awake. Everything's fine. Here, have a seat. I'm not going crazy. I know what I saw. I'm not saying you're going crazy. I'm just saying that sometimes when you wake up out of a deep sleep, you're not fully focused. That's all I'm saying. Where were you just now? I told you. I was down using a can down the hall. Ours is busted. Why is your feet wet? Tank leaks. Relax. The sun will be up in a little bit. We'll keep our eyes on that warehouse. Something's bound to happen. You ever been up on a lake? No. Boy, you oughta. It's absolutely beautiful up there. God's country, really. Up there, a man can be alone. Not another soul in sight. You like it that way, don't you? How's that? Alone. Prefer to be by yourself? Yeah, I suppose so. That's why I usually uh, take these assignments as a solo operation. No, oh, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's been great having you here. You've done most of the work. Me, I just get six more weeks. I've only got six weeks left to go, and I got a Cuban in one hand and a highball in the other. I'm just here to get paid. I'll make yours extra strong. I'll admit it, the coffee was a good idea. You know, one of these cups are going to be up all night. No, really, I insist. No, no seriously. seriously. I've got this. So, you're one of the good cops, huh? Well, you can't buy a boat on a policeman's pension alone. And every good cop knows that he's got to have proof of what he thinks he saw. Oh, you don't actually think that I put those jewels in my jacket, do you? How much do I owe you? The uh, six dollars twenty cents. That's for you and for you. Oh, hell. I've only got six weeks left anyhow. And then I'll have a highball in one hand and a Cuban in the other. I'm just here to get paid. Cohen. Rubies. 
in your pocket. It doesn't get much more red-handed than that. <laughs> it's all still good guys and bad guys with you, isn't it? Oh, well, I got news for you, Hotshot. This was all set up. This wasn't by coincidence. This was all planned. I'm here to train my replacement. And you, you were being tested for more delicate operations. <laughs> the guy that you respect the most. The chief. Yeah, he's in on it too. <laughs> the chief, he's one of the bad guys. <laughs> And I quit. Oh, Bill, um, would you go down to the car and uh, just let downtown know where, what we're doing, where we are? <laughs> good job, Cohen. Well, uh, I want to tell you something. It is so good to see you. Just get one more in before retirement. Well, huh? you guys did all the heavy lifting. I just called it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, call it what you will. I want to tell you something. I think you're going to get one more of those medals for your, uh, you know, oh, your collection. Oh, yeah, that. come on. It's mm -hmm. going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at, least, at least it's more than what I can say for some people over here. You know, like uh, sleeping beauty. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you up? Oh, uh, let me get you a pillow. How about a, how about a Danish, huh? huh? What happened? Oh, we took down the whole racket. It wasn't the white van after all. They had the paper boys putting the jewels into their paper bags and hustling them down to the dock. They were using kids. Imagine that. I'll let you fill him in with mm. the rest of the details, all right? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I gotta get down to the station, and good job, buddy. Oh, heads up! Are you gonna invite us down after you get that boat of sale? Absolutely not, Bill. Last thing I wanna see down there is a cop. Ah, don't worry about it. You're always groggy when you first wake up. It's your first all-nighter. Don't sweat it, kid. You'll build your stamina up. Why didn't you wake me? I tried. Here. Here. Looks like you could use that coffee now. <laughs>